revolution! <laughs> a crown befitting the new ruler of the universe! Your time is now over, Megatron. The reign of Starscream will be a reign of terror! Esteemed members of my armada, you now stand upon the very precipice of glory to meet the destiny which I have so tenaciously worked toward. Dynamic leadership of the Deceptor. Hello everyone, I hope life's been treating you well, this is Starstream 65 and today we're taking a look at the Transformers Robots in Disguise Free Step Kinker Grimlock, also known as Hero Class Grimlock. I got this figure in response to the multiple claims of the Warrior Class Grimlock busting his elbows off even right out of the package, so I sacrificed the complexity of that figure for the simplicity and better scale of this figure. So yes, here we have Brimlock in his Tyrannosaurus Rex mode, and he has taken on a black and green color scheme instead of the traditional uh, gold and gray of Generation 1. And I think it's a nice look on him. Um, he got some blue eyes and a gold crest. He got some silver teeth, gray arms, some uh, black and green striping up here on his back. And then we come back around here to his tail, and in package it comes detached, and uh, to assemble it, you just take this notch here and these two notches and you line them up with these two notches at the back of his tail. Before we do that, you could consider this an accessory if you wanted to, however, it cannot be held by Grimlock in robot mode whatsoever, so we'll just take it back on. Like so. And it stays on quite well. It does give Primlock a bit of a curved tail unless it is off center in uh, Tyrannosaurus mode. That's not really an issue. It looks nice from from here, how it's curved. For articulation in this mode, uh, Grimlock's jaw is stationary. However, transformation, if you wanted to, you could pry it open and open his jaw up more, although you have this gap in his neck then. As arms, and do that much up to that point there, and it stops against the back, and it can go backwards that much for transformation. And then his uh, hips are very, very, uh, or his legs are very, very tight um, because of transformation. They can go, they can do a full projection if I move these arms out of the way. Um, and I guess if you take the tail off, they can go back farther, so they cannot do a full 360 unless you take the tail off. All in all, it's a nice dino mode, and I think this uh, this uh, transfer mode is more accurate to the uh, to the show model than the Warrior Class version. For comparison, here we have Grimlock next to um, the Warrior Class Bumblebee, and you can see that um, I believe the Warrior Class Grimlock dino mode is shorter than Bumblebee, which is incredibly out of scale, and this is a much better scale um, to trying to get a good cast shot. And then here we have Grimlock next to Armada Starscream. But about the same height when Starscream standing completely upright in jet mode. Not that just do that of course, but... So now we'll get down to Grimlock's transformation, which, as aforementioned, is three steps. or three basic steps. There's other smaller steps you can incorporate into the transformation to make him look a little bit better in uh, robot mode. But to start, you want to take his dinosaur head and you want it to split it into and bring the top half against his back and the other against his belly or his chest. Then you want to take the tired torso after bringing these um, arms down here and just split it in half like so. And then you're going to take there's some tabs in here that will tab over the leg right here, like so. 
and then you want to bring the leg down and it will click into place. And then you want to bring the other leg down, tab it in the same way, and then tab it in against the torso like such. Then you want to take the entire top portion of his body and rotate it around and that will pop his head up and then move his arms up. I'll do that on camera this time, I apologize. There we are. There goes his head and his shoulders come out and up. And then you can bring his shoulders down so his arms are straight against his sides. And there you have Hero Class or Three Stack Central Grimlock in his robot mode. And of course it's a very simplified robot mode. He has the uh, dinosaur arms and uh, jaws right on the side of his legs. Um, which doesn't look the best but um, you know, it's either that or broken elbows and I don't want that. Um, he does have the option to hold weapons in this mode, like Bumblebee Star Saber. He has 5 millimeter ports on each of his arms. And you can tab a weapon in. Although, if I thought it was wrong, this won't stay in. So I don't know. That's odd. But anyhow, you can conceivably hold weapons of some sort of size in these holes. Uh, he does have some molded in fists here. Um, but those cannot hold anything within themselves. He has the uh, Autobot symbol right here to scan the game. Um, take a quick glance at his head sculpt, which is very similar to the Warrior Class 2, I understand. Let's it to the show. You have some uh, painted blue eyes and you got a gold face there. Just nice. For articulation in this mode, his shoulders can do a full 360. Very, very tight. And then that is it. Now, if you wanted to, you could bring his shoulders up, and then you could, you know, if you want to consider this like articulation, you can bring his legs out. If you really wanted to, but then his legs are loose and he really can't hold a pose very well. As you can see there, he just falls over. They got his tail. You cannot attach it anywhere that I found on his, uh, on his arms or anywhere else on his robot mode. So, which is best to just leave it, uh, taking off his butt like so. And it's not super easy to see. You can kind of see it here, um, but the rest of his leg hides the end of the tail. So. For a uh, size comparison in this mode, here he is next to, again, the Warrior Clef Bumblebee, now without a sword. You're gonna fall over on me. If you can see that is a better scale. Um, well, I think in the show, Grimlock kind of hunched over a little bit. Don't quote me on that, though. I'm not entirely sure. And then here, Grimlock is next to the file type of star screen. You can see that he's a good deal taller than two deluxe figures that I have. So he's a good, he's a nice, good size. And just for the, uh, just for the sake of the gimmick, I'll transform him back into, into, uh, Transformer Rex mode. You just rotate his waist. Then you bring his legs up like so, unpaying them, tapping the entire uh, chest portion together, and then having his head together like so, and moving his arms out. And there you have Grimlock back in robot mode, or excuse me, Tyrannosaurus Rex mode. So there folks, you can see just how simple the transformation is, and I mean it is a nice gimmick, um, I'm sure children will like it. And I think that for the price of twenty dollars and just in that he doesn't break himself to pieces like the warrior class does, I think he is worth the buy and he is in scale with the rest of the line if you are a scale nut. Um but it just is up to you. If you don't like the simplified uh, version of the Grimlock, then that's totally your prerogative. This has been the video review of the Transformer Robots in Disguise. Three Step Changer Grimlock or Hero Class Grimlock. I am Star Trek 65. Thank you very much for watching and take care.
Notice how much noise an insect makes buzzing and clacking until you crush it underfoot? That's what you are, Megatron. A bug with a big mouth.